Hey everyone, this is Open Minded Gaming from Twitch.tv, and I was asked to do a tutorial for Blue Stacks using a controller for League of Legends Rift. So here I am, and I'm doing that. First, before we get into the actual binds, I'm going to show you some settings that might make your game time a little easier very quickly. Um, in terms of graphics, as long as your computer can handle it, you're going to want 60 FPS because if you're stuck on 30 when you don't need to be that, that, that would just be sad. And uh, another thing is controls, which is... Your camera pan sensitivity controls the sensitivity of all your moves. I have it set very low and I still think it's, it's still kind of too high. It might not actually affect the, um, the joysticks, but maybe it does. Hold on. Let me set it even lower. We'll find out. If I set it to 2%, let's see what happens. You can't change that in game. So if it, if that totally messes up everything, I'm going to have to come out of game and set it back. But anyways, um, Let's go into a practice match, and I'm going to be playing Ziggs, because Ziggs is amazing. Be a blast. Probably the best. Uh, you're always going to you're always gonna want Flash in this slot, because this is just the best slot for Flash, because I've always played League of Legends like that. And also because the second slot has the aiming mechanic, and the first slot doesn't. So, that's why. Um, while we're loading, I can give you a history of my League of Legends uh, experience. I made Gold 3, Season 5, and I've played since closed beta, which is around 11 years. I have King Ramus, I have UFO Corky. I would have had Championship Riven, but something happened and I never got it, even though I, I did the code, but it's whatever. I may have done it for the wrong account or something. It could have been my fault. But anyways, here we are. Minions have spawned. We are in the game. Hey, that bomb One go? thing to know about these tutorials for me that I make um, is that they are driven by the fact that you have to have your mouse pointer on your character at all times or uh, because the blue stacks motor or mind, whatever, the, com the computer thinks that wherever I put the mouse is where I'm going to want my abilities to go, and I can't change that. So to make it even for when you're casting is if you put your your, your mouse on top of your character and leave it there for the whole map. All right. So when we first come into a match, what we need to do is level up our skills, right? So um, using a controller while playing this game is very limited. I would suggest that you don't do this unless you really want to use a controller. It works kind of okay in some instances, but I'm going to show you now why it doesn't seem that ideal. But I, I worked really hard on this today, and I tried to make it work. So this is at least something. If you need absolutely need to use a controller, then I understand. But I would suggest that you you learn to use mouse and keyboard. Anyway, right plus RB, right plus LT, you just press right and then other buttons but you can't do that while you're moving so that's kind of a problem but here lb left trigger right trigger then use zig mains no we got to level these level up these bombs so let me show you what happens when i ult if he stops running away like a coward okay i don't know what he's doing i'll wait for him to come back <laughs> Um, what else can I explain? Um, warding. To ward, you have to press up and then use the, the right control stick to aim where you want to put it. Another downside, like I said, you cannot move and ward at the same time. That's, that's a big problem for you Lee Sin players. You guys know that, probably. Anyways, always make sure you put your control, your mouse pointer back on your character. I almost forgot right there. See how he's on the screen right now? It's gonna automatically shoot shoot it where he is. So that's good. It still does that. So that's that's actually good. So it's workable. It's workable. Not ideal, but it's workable. But anyway. What else? I got wards down. Uh, if you wanna ping something, I recommend that you click on the map. Click this. 
Hold, left click, and Danger. drag. And just put it on the map. On my way. That's where that's what you do. For pinging, that's what I that's what I recommend. Also, um let's see. These down here are self-explanatory. I got one one button, the three buttons on the bottom. Uh B A X. Each one is a different auto attack type, and that makes it really hard for to use a controller. You're using three whole buttons just for auto attacks, which is kind of insane. Um oh, no. I would suggest for that reason that you have to buy everything and browse the shop using your mouse. Middle turret is under Make sure you put your mouse pointer back on your character. I'm not going to reiterate that enough because if you don't, you're going to miss your skill shots and you're going to be sad. Let's blow this joint. Anyways, here's a Garen. Oh, it's crazy how annoying Garen is, Garen is even in training. He's still in like ridiculous. All right. Wait, I didn't. Um, I didn't. I haven't tested the panel uh, sensitivity yet. Hold on, let's test it. This is one reason why I chose Ziggs right here. Oh yeah, here's my character. Oh gosh, nope. I don't think it affects it at all. See how fast that is? That, that's not ideal. This is another reason why you probably don't want to use. But, I mean, if he's not. If he's on the screen, it'll automatically do it for you. But I mean. You may move when you cast it. That ult is very... It takes a long time to get there, so... You might want to lead it behind him a bit. What have I done? I misclicked. <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> that was... That was great. Okay. Let's try this again. I was trying to refresh state. There we go. See... You might want to lead it behind him a bit. Wherever you think he's moving. It's just really hard. See, there we go. That was perfect. But it's, it's very sensitive. I'm not aware of a way that you can reduce the sensitivity of your sticks. Anyone got a match? Maybe there's a mouse sensitivity way. Aim, pan, and shoot. No, nah, I don't think this is going to do anything. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Anyways, uh, what else is there? Let's we have right down time. to go back to base. We have right plus left trigger. To learn skills. We have... We have right to choose your ward back at base. We have left to uh, choose your your smite type. Um, that bomb go? Other than this, I don't think there's anything else I need to cover. This is just a video video to demonstrating how to use the keybinds that I made. And like I said, the config file is going to be... Um, or maybe I didn't say it yet, this video. But there's a config file that's going to be available if you click show more on the YouTube video, it will be a config file that you can you can upload straight into your game that will automatically configure them for you. Which you do just by going to game controls and open advanced editor and um, import. So there you go. That's my tutorial for um, League of Legends Wild Rift with a controller. Uh, use the mouse and keyboard if you can, but playing with the controller might be okay. Anyways, take care and good luck out on the rift. Come on, come on.